An enduring pastime with a rich history, rodeos have left audiences awestruck for more than a century. A fascinating blend of performance and contests, competitors in rodeos are both showmen and professional athletes, putting their bodies on the line to entertain millions. While you might think of them just being in rural areas of the country, many are actually held in larger cities and draw in a plethora of visitors each year. Howdy, partner. While it's hard to pinpoint when exactly the very first rodeo happened, Many places claim hosting a rodeo as early as the mid-1800s. The earliest recorded rodeos happened in 1883 in Pecos, Texas and Prescott, Arizona in 1888. The genesis of the rodeo runs parallel to that of the American cowboy, as Anglo-American settlers moved into Texas and other areas of the Southwest during this time. By the late 1800s, rodeo had become a spectator event and was commonplace in many U.S. towns from the Southwest to the Midwest. Many were held during social occasions or holiday gatherings, where cowboys would showcase their spectacular riding and roping skills, as well as challenge competition from other ranches. These Wild West shows, made famous by cowboys like Buffalo Bill, Howdy, partner! eventually made their way east. <laughs> the rodeos incorporated prizes, rules for competition, and admission fees to get in. The late 1800s also introduced steer riding, which is now what we have today in bull riding. By the 1920s, rodeo became a national event with month-long rodeos in New York City. The early 1900s also marked the beginning of rodeos internationally, with shows in England and Africa. But it wasn't until 1929 when the Rodeo Association of America was formed by several rodeo committees. This made the rodeo an official event. The organization helped standardize rules, establish a point system, monitor judges, and establish fairness when advertising and handing out prizes. Since then, many organizations have formed and developed to help regulate the industry. Today, rodeos are held across the world and consist of events like calf roping, steer wrestling, team roping, barrel racing, and bull riding. The largest is in Cheyenne, Wyoming, known as Frontier Days. It's nine days long and is the largest outdoor rodeo and western festival in the world, featuring live performances from premier country music artists as well. Howdy, y'all. This festival and others like it put into perspective just how much rodeo has evolved over the years. Once operating as simple displays of roping skills, rodeos are now massive organized events boasting a multitude of talented riders and innovations. Though many changes have been made, rodeo, at its heart, remains a celebration of the Western spirit. <laughs>